Hello everyone, my name is Rebecca and I run the Curious Flea Vintage Store on Etsy and sometimes on eBay. And today is another What Sold video. This is my regular video. Basically, I just head up into my loft, into my storage area. I'll pick up everything that's sold for me this week and I'll let you know what it's sold for. And it's always useful to find out what things are selling and uh, what things are selling for. So that's it, see you up there. This is the first sale of the week and sorry for this lighting, it's super dark. It's only 4pm but it's dark already and this is a thermometer in a piece of rock. And what more could you want, basically? <laughs> this has gone for £14 on Etsy plus shipping. This little bow brooch here which is peeking out. It's like a cloisonne style nice chunky brooch this is sold for 10 pounds on etsy that's free shipping again for 14 pounds plus shipping i've sold this dog now i made a mistake because <laughs> i had these two well first of all i had this guy and they're normally quite hard to sell on their own so when i picked up this guy i put them as a pair and i listed them as a pair but i also forgot to unlist the single guy so anyway this single has sold for 14 pounds plus shipping which is fine so all I'll have to do now is take this guy down as well actually and re-photograph him and list him on his own sorry fella your time will come in this little box here is this beautiful there it is it's a vintage corkscrew type bottle opener thing it's really lovely it's so heavy it's gorgeous. This is sold for £20 plus shipping. It's absolutely amazing. So I'm pleased with that. I had it listed for a bit more, but I'm quite happy to get stuff gone at the moment. This mug tree is sold. I would definitely recommend picking these up, you know. It's not something I've ever thought of before. I suppose it's quite an ordinary thing. But I've had a couple now and they've sold relatively quickly. Especially these really, really sort of high quality wooden ones. And this is a vintage piece. And there we go. Made by Peter Bossom in Pembrokeshire. And when I first listed this on eBay, I actually had, I think it was his son message me and say oh it's so nice to see my dad's pieces still being sold so that was nice but this has sold on etsy for 25 pounds which is fantastic i don't know if you'll remember these little things here these were the pg tips egg cups and it's like the bottom half is like the trousers and you've got the little monkey heads um, these were all mismatched, but I've got £13.75 for those. That's free shipping on Etsy. Um, if you have the full set of these, it can go sort of about £30-ish. But as I say, these were all mismatched, jumbled. Now, down here on the bottom shelf is a really big and really chunky vase that I am not looking forward to packing at all. I shouldn't have done it to myself. I should have just kept it but never mind <laughs> this it's beautiful it's sold for 20 pounds plus shipping on etsy oh i forgot how big it is now i weighed this before i listed it because i wanted to see how heavy it was for shipping it weighs two kilograms it is solid it's absolutely gorgeous though i didn't pay very much for that and I just couldn't see it end up at the tip but now I've got a packet oh no <laughs> another little cute piece of jewellery it is number 98 this one here it's just some really cute dainty clip-on earrings they're like little feathers with pink rhinestones they have gone for £13 and that's a uh, shipping to come off that as well these little fellas have sold for £8, they're little salt and pepper shakers. I got a whole load of salt and pepper shakers last year and these are one of the last few pairs left. Um, they're really faded, they're not in very good condition. The paint's been pretty much washed off. But still got £8 plus shipping for those so I'm glad they've gone somewhere nice. Next couple of jewellery sales are this beautiful brooch. 
it's absolutely gorgeous that's onyx there in the middle it's so beautiful that has gone for 30 pounds it's 925 stamped silver as well which has helped so that's gone on etsy 30 pounds that's free shipping this has also gone on etsy it's uh it's just a costume jewelry necklace it's absolutely beautiful it's so chunky this has gone for 10 pounds on etsy i don't know if you lot have been the same but my ebay has been dead for about two weeks and then all of a sudden last night i sold six things like in the middle of the night it was really weird so i feel like they're messing on with the categories again or something anyway so i'd sold those two bits of jewelry that i've just picked out i sold this which i picked up the other week it's grosvenor it's really cute it's a bit stained inside this has gone for nine pounds and what else have we got this little jug has gone for £12.50 it's really beautiful blue and white floral pattern it's so dainty and cute and this is by Louise Little who's a Northumbrian maker apparently <laughs> we've sold these guys here these have gone for 18 off the top of my head I think this is like Shiwan pottery I believe it's called where it's like this rough stoneware and they've got the nice shiny glaze over the top the bigger pieces are obviously more valuable so keep an eye out for those this has gone for 18 pounds and another little sale for nine pounds is this really cute retro money box adorable it's really nice nine pounds is a good price for that when i picked it up i thought it would go for a bit more i think i paid a pound but nine pounds happy with that this absolutely gorgeous sparkly bangle has sold. It's beautiful. Aurora Borealis rhinestones there. You can see how they change colour in the light. It's beautiful. It's sold for £25. That includes the shipping on Etsy, but I'm really pleased with that. That's absolutely stunning. This gorgeous metal tin. I think it's like a tea box. Sorry, I've had my thumb over the camera there. <laughs> I'll just open this for you. There we go. It's gorgeous. Lacquered wood inside. It's so pretty. This is sold for £15 plus postage on Etsy. And this beast here has sold for £28 plus postage on eBay. I charged £5.50 shipping for this because it's heavy. It's cast iron just a spice rack so that's some good sales for today some really nice jewelry sales have just come in so i've sold these cute celestial earrings they've just gone for 10 pounds and these fabulous cufflinks these are edwardian cufflinks and these are sold for 35 pounds and they're actually going to shepperton studios which is exciting i love selling to prop buyers I'm always on the lookout for my jewellery pieces on various films. <laughs> In this box here, I have sold a little stud cufflink box. It's so cute. This has gone for £10. Really nice. I think I paid £50 for this, so £10 is good for that. Nice and easy to pack up. Adorable. And for 55 I've sold these two artworks here. And I've had these for a long, long time, but they're really, really nice. Oh, let's see if I can get them out for you. There we are. These are hand-drawn. They're like pencil drawings. And they're fairies. Really cute. I had these priced really high. I had them on for, I think, £70, and someone offered me 55 the other day, so I've taken that, which I think is really good for those. They're really nice. The next couple of sales, we've got this tray here. This is Grosvenor. It's really nice. It's a nice, it's like a veneer. Rose gold handles that's gone for £25 on Etsy, and that person used my 10% off discount code, so that's wonderful. And here for £10 on eBay, I've sold this 
little it's a little butter butter dish and it's got its own little knife it's really cute nice and easy to pack that one I've had quite a lot of low value sales this week which is a shame but it's getting rid of some of these things that I've had for a while um although actually saying that this is quite a new one I've only had this for about a week but this has gone for £7.50 it's just a little photo frame but this fella here I've had for ages I dabbled in toys for about two weeks before I came to the conclusion that I couldn't care less about toys so <laughs> anyway this has gone for £6 so it's not a lot of money and yeah I don't buy toys anymore just bores me to death. I mean, good on you if you buy toys, but it's just not for me. Just had two jewellery sales come in within about 10 minutes of each other on Etsy, which is fabulous. If you aren't on Etsy, please do it. I can't stress enough how much I love Etsy. This necklace is sold for £10. That's free shipping. I do all my jewellery free shipping, free UK shipping anyway on Etsy. And it's just like a long, it's like a flapper type necklace with a little glass bead so that's £10 and secondly for £12 this little abalone shell inlaid ring so they're two cute sales and I like to sell jewellery because it's nice and quick and easy to pack up this lovely little desk calendar is sold you just fiddle with this thingamabob here and it'll tell you the day, the date, the month it's really cool so yeah that is £14 and that's free shipping on Etsy and on eBay I've sold this absolutely amazing mirror it's like a hand mirror or you could hang it up it's got lovely mother of pearl inlay there it's really nice this is sold for £19 plus shipping on eBay gorgeous jewellery sales here these have gone for £15, free shipping. They're absolutely beautiful dangle clip-on earrings. They are so sparkly and beautiful. And this little charm here, it's like a little bracelet charm or you could put it on a necklace pendant. It's like a little lantern. This has gone for £12.50 and this is going all the way to America. In this bag here, I have various bits of cutlery that I pick up and I've sold a little teaspoon, which I'm hoping is this one think it is let's have a look we're looking for wp at the top there yeah that's the one william page this is silver plated just a little teaspoon it's gone for 10 pounds and that is free shipping not bad for a little spoon this cow milk jug here has sold this is sold a couple of times and people haven't paid me, but this person finally paid me. And this has gone for £12. It's really nice. It's like the little Dutch windmill design. That's plus shipping, by the way. And let's see. I've got two glasses, if I can find them. I would have thought they'd be on here. Hmm. Let me see they're down here I just couldn't see them it's getting dark super early it's only about three o'clock these are sangria glasses and they've got little jackets on <laughs> I got these ages ago these have gone for 10 pounds plus shipping the glasses themselves are beautiful they're like amber glass got really really nice oh and I've sold this basket for 12 pounds so I'm gonna have to take all of this stuff out unfortunately here it is up close. I've had this for ages. It's really pretty though. It's a nice wicker basket with some tiles. So I was happy to accept a £12 offer on eBay for that. And that is plus shipping. These glasses of sold that I picked up the other week. I got these when I went to Corbridge and it was like five for a pound. And I did pick up a couple of pairs of glasses and the other ones sold a couple of weeks ago. So if you do see any old glasses, pick them up because people use them and they put their own put their own um, prescription in so these have gone for 15 pounds which is fabulous from a 20 pence investment and lastly for this little bunch of items today is this lovely mantle clock which has gone for 20 pounds it's a president quartz battery powered clock 
you can pick these up super cheap at the car boot sales and this one has stuck around for a little while probably two or three months but you can usually get 20 pounds for them so they're worth picking up if they're in nice condition like this one because i think everyone's grandparents had these <laughs> in their house and people love nostalgia and the last sale of this week is these coasters pimpernel coasters have gone for 16 pounds really cute floral there's a little bit of damage to a couple of them but that was all declared in the listings and that was it for this week's video um i hope you enjoyed it hope you learned a few things spotted a few things that you might want to pick up next time and i'll see you in my next video